Hey, what's up guys? Andrew here. Today I have my full review on the new Asus X550ZA. This is a 15.6 inch budget laptop with some pretty impressive specs. You get an AMD A10-7400P, an AMD Radeon R6 graphics, 8GB of RAM, and a 1TB hard drive, all for $429. Let's start with the design and build quality. This laptop has a textured plastic exterior finish that looks and feels pretty good for a budget laptop. Keep in mind, the battery is non-removable. The interior also features a textured palm rest that comes in a plastic silver finish. The weight comes in at 5.07 pounds, and its thickest point is 1.22 inches. The overall build quality is actually pretty good for an inexpensive laptop. The top feels rigid, and the only minor complaint I have is the medium keyboard flex. It's not bouncing like a trampoline, but you get the idea. Now let's take a look at the ports here on the left side of the laptop. Here goes your USB 2. DVD drive, and your AC charging port. On the right side, you got your security lock slot, exhaust port for your fan, VGA port, full-size HDMI, gigabit ethernet, two USB 2s, and a headset microphone jack combo. Now don't worry guys, there is an SD card reader, it's located right in the front. And the good thing about this one, it's flush mount. On the front left, you'll have your status LED indicators. The first one is your power, second is charge status indicator, hard disk, Wi-Fi, number lock key, and your caps lock key. For the display, Asus chose to go with the LG Philips TN panel. The color accuracy is about average among budget laptops. For my Spider 4 Pro colorimeter, I got a score of 64% for the sRGB and 47% for the Adobe RGB. The resolution comes in at 1366 by 768, which means the text is a tad blurry, especially on a 15.6 inch laptop running at that res. Side to side viewing angles were okay, but the front tilt viewing angles were poor. This panel will require you to do some fine tuning to get the best picture. Since this is a glossy display, you're going to get a ton of reflections, so keep this notebook away from those bright lights and windows. At the end of the day, this panel will be adequate for many users out there that are on a budget. Let's dive into keyboard performance. You're getting a standard full size keyboard with a 10 key numeric keypad. The keyboard is pretty comfortable to type on and you get a pretty good amount of key travel. However, the tactile feedback is not that great. It just feels a tad cheap. The trackpad is engineered by Asus, and they did a great job. Two finger scrolling, multi-touch gestures, and tracking all performed well above my expectations. And another nice bonus is the size and smooth texture. Overall, this is a solid trackpad that I wouldn't mind using every day. Let's talk about processor performance. This notebook is rocking an AMD A10-7400P, which is a quad-core processor clocked at 2.5 GHz with turbo up to 3.4 GHz. This processor is very capable. You can expect great performance from office applications, coding, to even some gaming. I was very impressed with its overall performance, especially at this price point. The AMD A10 also features the AMD Radeon R6, which is based on the Kaveri architecture the performance from this GPU has been great, especially with the power from the AMD A10-7400P behind it. You can expect to play many of today's games on low to medium settings at its native res of 1366 by 768. I've had great success with games like CSGO, League of Legends, Minecraft, and Call of Duty Black Ops 2. You can run GTA 5, but I did not have a smooth experience. I was getting like 17 to 24 frames per second, and it will sometimes dip as low as 14 frames per second. Besides that though, this is probably the best budget gaming laptop I have tested. It just offers great performance for so little money. If you're a gamer on a budget that's not trying to spend more than 430 bucks, then I would highly recommend this laptop. And here's a quick tip for some of you guys out there. In order to get the best gaming experience, be sure to select the high performance setting in your battery setting. That is located in your bottom right system tray. Here are the CPU temps with normal productivity. The average was around 50 degrees Celsius with a high of 54 degrees Celsius. But once you start to play games on this baby, the CPU will get around 60 degrees Celsius with a high of 65 degrees Celsius. And the max GPU temp was 65 degrees Celsius as well. Overall, these CPU temperatures were great considering some of the AMD chips in the past ran much hotter than its Intel counterparts. Battery performance is the biggest downfall on this notebook. I was getting around 3 to 4 hours out of a full charge with screen brightness set at around 50%. And that was with normal productivity programs like web browsing, streaming Netflix, 
and word processing. For the best battery life, be sure to select the power saver option. With casual usage, the fan levels were around 45 to 48 decibels. But fire up a game or heavy CPU software, then the fan levels rise to around 55 to 58 decibels. In my opinion, these fan levels are acceptable and right on par with most gaming laptops for 2015. Hey, what's up YouTube? Andrew here, testing out the webcam on the new Asus X550ZA. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. The speakers are meh, nothing to brag about. They are right underneath the keyboard, but the good thing here is they are facing up. They offer adequate sound for basic multimedia, but if you want a better gaming experience, be sure to hook up a set of external speakers or plug in a headset. Here's a quick sound test in action. The one terabyte hard drive is spacious, but it can be slow at times. But for the most part, it gets the job done. Alright guys, let's get to the conclusion of this notebook. For $429, you're getting an awesome high-end budget laptop that offers great performance for many applications and even some gaming with that AMD R6 GPU. The keyboard, trackpad, and the overall package offers a great performance to price ratio. The only cons I had on this notebook was the battery life was a bit short and the bloatware. But with a price tag of under 430 bucks, you can make a little bit of a sacrifice on the battery life. And in regards to the bloatware, you can download a program called CCleaner and it will automatically remove suggested bloatware from your notebook. Be sure to keep an eye on Best Buy's website because this notebook will occasionally go on sale for $399, making this deal even sweeter. I'll do my best to keep you guys updated on the pricing in the comments section down below. Well guys, this about wraps up my full review on the new Asus X550ZA. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this one. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.